What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV. To start off today's video, I just wanted to explain a couple of little things to you. A couple of things in this video probably aren't gonna make much sense, purely because if you haven't seen my last video, the muscle food unboxing, I intended to film that as part of a vlog, not a single video. So the things you're gonna see me say after this clip don't really make sense because I said it with the intention of it being the same video. If it doesn't really make sense, then it'll make sense when you watch it. So um, with that said guys, let's get on with today's video. Sit back, relax, give the video a like, enjoy the video guys. So the muscle food boxes are starting to stack up a little bit, but a little funny story, I actually use these when I do my reviews and stuff, because I don't have a big enough tripod yet. I actually use them and stick my, um, the, the biggest tripod I have, I stick that on top of the muscle food boxes, and then it gives me a little bit of a, you know, a better angle, you know. Right guys, so currently chopping up some sweet potatoes. Yes, badly, but chopping up some sweet potatoes. Uh, that's going to go in the oven for, well, our oven is terrible, so it's going to take about an hour. Then we're going to cook one of the muscle food steaks uh, and have it with this to go on the side and probably just some veg. Uh, what veg have we got? We've got broccoli. Mixed veg. We'll have some mixed veg uh, alongside that. And so I'll show you the food when it's finished. Right, guys, so here's the finished product. Nicely cooked steak, sweet potatoes, and some veg there as well. Uh, right guys, so we're just sat here. Fuck off. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> right guys, so we're here just watching some Big Brother and just for some pudding and a snack on the lemon crunch bar which you saw earlier on in the video. And this is the official taste test. I'm not normally that keen on lemon stuff, like I would rather have something chocolatey or like peanut buttery, so see how this tastes. Okay, I'm gonna sound ridiculous when I say it tastes like lemon. But if you have a lemon, what's it called, a lemon drizzle cake? Yeah. If you have lemon drizzle cake, it tastes exactly like that, just a little bit thicker, not as soft and spongy. Ooh. But to be honest, I think it's safe to assume that there's, what, 20 grams of protein in this? So, it's not half bad. What's up guys, hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, let me know by leaving a like. And uh, hopefully you've been able to follow along a little bit. It's been a bit back to front as I said at the beginning of the video. But uh, we're back on track now, ready for this shoulder workout. So actually, training shoulders is one of my favourite things to do because it tends to be a genetic strong point. As you can see me doing uh, sets of 8 for 60 kilos. I did 3 sets of that. Uh, so I just tend to be a little bit stronger than I am on other body parts when training shoulders. So after the three sets on the 60 kilos, I moved on to, as you guys can see here, the one arm cable row. I like to do this with one arm, you can do it with two, but personally I always do it with one arm just because I feel that I can get a much better contraction, much better time and attention on the lats if I do it with one, one arm. But don't worry if the machine isn't available, you can do it with dumbbells, you can do it with a barbell, you can do it with an easy curl bar, you can do it on anything. That's the great thing about training back, anything that you can pull on, pretty much is going to have some sort of effect on your back, on your biceps, so you're going to be making those gains that you like to see. So the next movement, as you guys will see in a second, is the cable flies. I use the same machine here, but just adjusted it to a roundabout shoulder height, really focusing on the contraction today. As you can see here for, on the next movement, one, two, squeeze at the top, and then releasing. What I wanted to focus on is how far back I can come. As you can see, I don't go too far back, so it doesn't put too much strain on my shoulder, but that's just personal preference, depending on you know your own shoulder mobility and all that kind of stuff. So for the next exercise of the day, as you guys can already see, was the lateral raise. Now, I put a lot, a lot of my shoulder development down to this exercise guys. I've said it in a couple of videos before but I'm going to say it again. I put my, a lot of my shoulder development down to this purely because of the strict form that I don't allow myself to sway. I don't use any other muscles. I keep my body as still as possible really keeping the focus and keeping the tension on the lateral head of the shoulder which is going to give you help to give you that nice round full look to the shoulder that everybody wants. So this was followed up by my one of my favourite movements, the tricep pushdown. This actually felt really easy, so I went up the set after this and then up again the set after that. But for the purpose of this video, I'll just give you the same form tips as always. Keep that elbow nice and locked to the side, using as few secondary muscles as possible. So guys, moving on to upright rows. A very strange movement, if you ask me. It just seems like a very strange plane of motion. So uh, I like to use these tri-grip plates. You can do it with an easy curl bar, a barbell, you can do it with dumbbells. Anything that's suitable for you guys. It's all just down to personal preference, so just find 
find something that works for you and really focus on that contraction, swaying as little as possible. And so we're finishing off the workout today with some bicep curls. I'm not going to bore you guys with the form tips purely because I've done lots of commentaries before and always explain the bicep curl. So instead I'll just give you a couple of alternatives. You can use an easy curl bar, you can use uh, resistance bands, you can use uh, the cable pulleys that I was using earlier on the one arm dumbbell rows. Anything you find that works for you then stick to it and that is how you're going to achieve your goals. So that's it for this commentary guys, I'm going to round it off and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay so it's the next day, I've been working on my assessment, I've finally proofread it and thank god I did because there was a few little mistakes in there. So always proofread your assignments guys. Uh, so what we're going to do now is finally submit, I've got my good friend Jess on FaceTime here and Charlotte is recording because we've all played a part in this, believe me. So, add a file. So there's the class practices portfolio. I need appendix one and appendix two left now. Jess, do you want to say hi to YouTube? Hi, YouTube. Four files, class practices portfolio, appendix one, appendix two, class practices in education feedback sheet. Add all of them. Okay, right. Can we get a close up on the submission? Here we go. Four files. Ready. Ready, Jess. Ready. Ready. Submit. <laughs> it's done. No, it won't focus. It is done. None of that was focused. It's finally done. Ah. Oh. So that is the end of the hard work, um, sort of, because I do actually go on placement tomorrow. I start placement tomorrow and this has just been handed in now. So that is for the next few weeks and so it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to pump out the content like I am doing now, but I'm still going to, so that is the point, that's the philosophy behind the channel. The philosophy of the channel is consistency in every aspect of life, keeping those videos going, finding that balance between your work, your social life, the gym, everything. So that's what I... I'm excited for the challenge, that's what I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks. So um, what I wanted to ask you guys was, what do you want me to make? Do you want me to just carry on with doing what I'm doing? Do you want me to do some more reviews? Do you want me to do some more commentaries? Or do you want me to just do a bit of everything? So um, that was the main question that I wanted to ask you guys, and I just wanted to take that a uh, little bit of time to do that. So um, yeah, just let me know what you want me to do over the next few weeks in the comment section, uh, because the videos will more than likely be a little bit shorter. So, uh, with that said, that is going to round off today's video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. The subscribe is going up quicker than ever, guys, and it's all down to you. Liking, commenting, sharing, as always, guys. So, thank you so much for that. And uh, with that said, that's going to round off today's video. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.